studio with New York Times best-selling author John Gilstrap. Mr. Gilstrap. Good morning, sir. Clock is ticking on that next Tick deadline. Tick yes it is, and I'm I'm beginning to lose it a little bit on the inside. Every yeah, minute spent here co-hosting is right. one less page that gets written. That's right. Baby. Well, oh. oh yeah, page a minute, I, that'd be good. <laughs> oh, you're churning yeah. it out, yeah. That's I am. quite that's, a pace. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Jefferson County Prosecuting Attorney Matt Harvey here as well. Matthew. Good morning. But not next week. Not next week. Busy. All right. We'll uh, we'll find a way. We'll just clone Gilstrap. We'll you might your ratings there. might go. Up. Your viewers might go up next Thursday. Yeah, or down. It depends. There's a lot of Harvey lovers out there, and uh, some Harvey haters too. <laughs> a few of those. Yeah, yeah. a couple of those running yeah. around out there. Uh, let's welcome in our next guest, Trip Tobin. He's the guy behind uh, the uh, local American Legion team, who are state champions. Trip, good to see you again. Thanks for having me. Good to have you here, man. And uh, coming up at the end of July. Uh, I, I'm told for the first time ever, Martinsburg will be the host for the state American Legion tournament. Yeah, as far as I can research back, I'm pretty sure this is the first time that we have this opportunity to bring, you know, this venue and, and this uh, this uh, tournament to the to the town of Martinsburg. Trip, who plays American Legion baseball? Well, American Legion baseball is broken into two different groups, a 17U group, which is a younger group that are going to definitely head back to high school as either uh, rising sophomores, seniors, juniors. So mm -hmm. a, lot of the, a lot of the younger group is aspiring to, uh, you know, already aspiring to move on to the next level. Senior group uh, definitely is a group that wants to play at the next level. Uh, they want to go to college, play baseball. Uh, not a tremendous amount of money in baseball, but we talk to them about their grades, uh, you know, how they can, you know, their FAFSA, all the grants that are out there. And then we, you know, we make contacts uh, with coaches to try to help them out with the rest of their tuition. So we're running over 90% of our guys that come through this program and make it to the senior team um, that are being signed and or playing at the next level. And then we have a few guys that are still, uh, as long as you don't turn 19, in this calendar year, then you can play American Legion baseball. So we have like a Jordan Camby, uh, who's coming back from Pot State for a year. Landon Sifford coming back. Uh, JJ Pavanelli from Western New Tech coming back for a year. Um, uh, I'm missing all oh, Cameron Moore, excuse me, <laughs> from Fairmont State coming back. So we have that mixture and uh, the senior team of guys coming back, mentoring the younger guys, telling them what it's going to take to be at the next level. Plus, plus you know, we have the contacts with the uh, you know, the D2 and most of the colleges, uh, JUCOs and D3s around the area that we can, uh, you know, work with those guys. You said, you said a moment ago there's not a lot of money in baseball, I presume even for scholarships? Yeah, for scholarships there's not a tremendous amount of money there. I mean, they, they split it up. You know, you, you can get a third or a quarter or get your books paid for. But, um, you know, at that level, you know, there's not a tremendous amount of, of scholarship money out there. So it's very important to have, you know, to, to get – you know, uh, academic scholarships and things like that to, to move forward. Um, plus, it, baseball's a high IQ game, in my opinion, so you got to be smart anyway. It is the toughest, as, as a, I'm a high school coach for football now and coming up with my kids were younger, a youth coach, no matter what the sport was that they played in, baseball is the most complex game to explain because there's so many nuances to it when you're trying to teach young people the rules of baseball. Yeah, uh, you know, it, it takes a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of failure to, to get better at baseball. It, and, uh, and and the things change just about on every pitch. Your situation changes. So, you know, it's not like you call a play and then you just let that play play out. You know, there's a, it, it just changes on every pitch, every time out. There's just a lot of uh, game inside the game, we call it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The reason why you're here is because of that tournament at the end of July. Uh, it is uh, incumbent upon the host team, the host organization, to buck up, so to speak, for all the folks that are coming into town from those other teams. Maybe you can give us some details on that. Yeah, I'll first go off. You know, a lot of people are kind of, uh, you know, they kind of shake their head when they when they find out that our community has to raise and our local American Legion has to pay, you know, for uh, stipend young men to come here, you know, for food for the day, house them, pay all the umpire fees and, and everything that's associated with it, which gets to be a pretty hefty bill. But I will say that for, you know, every time that post-14 has went to Charleston, Wheeling, Morgantown, and the state tournaments and those types of things that we've been treated royally. And they put us up in a motel. Uh, you know, they, 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 the visitors package from the CBBs, you know, the, the, the coupons from their local restaurants and, you know, just, you know, uh, banquet rooms and things like that that we go to. So when those guys go there, th they are treated really well and, and the accomplishment to get to, to get to that tournament. Uh, there's a sense of accomplishment and, uh, and, and they're, they just feel like that uh, you know special for a week and uh, so that being said um, if you take if you take the money that we would have had to have spent over over the years that we went to the state tournament we're really 
you know, it's just our kind of our turn. Um, mm-hmm. And it's kind of hard to fathom, but that's just kind of how it is. So you got seven teams possibly coming into town. It's very possible that we could have seven teams, six to seven teams coming into town, 18 player max, three coaches. So they're going to come into town and they're going to take up a guarantee. Those those teams are guaranteed to take up, you know, eight to ten rooms. So you're looking at, you know, 70 rooms and then however many nights they're here, four to five nights. But, you know, when, when you look on uh, tourism and, and, and you start to put together a, a plan uh, to turn in to, to try to get grants, you, I, I found out that uh, they basically uh, at 1.5 visitors per player is what they, what they average. Mm-hmm. So if you do that math, I mean, you're looking at another uh, 210 to 250 people along with 140 or 50 teams and players. So, you know, we're getting into the, you know, less than 400 people that apparently would you know based on uh what what they've you know what they've done as far as um planning for things like this uh you know with the 1.5 you're looking at 400 just a little less than 400 people that they guarantee will be in town staying eating and playing in in this area for you know three to five days possibly six if it rains what's it going to cost you to host all these people uh, last year's budget was about uh, forty five thousand dollars um is what they spent in charleston and that, uh, and the, the thing about that forty-five thousand is that there was two teams from Charleston. You had South Charleston, and you had Charleston Post sixty-five. So they really only hosted six teams. Uh, the good part about it is, is they had. Uh, I mean, the the back side of that is, you know, they had, they paid the University of Charleston four thousand dollars to lease the field. Uh, they paid a pretty good catering bill. Um, there's some there's some fat we can trim off of that that I think they'll we can stay in that. You use P.O. Faulkner as your home field anyway, yeah, right? So we'll, we won't have the field rental and uh, and uh, so that'll help. Uh, they had uh, they paid the athletic trainers because they were on a college campus. They were forced to. We don't have to do that. Um, but for the most part we have to absorb the rest of it. Maybe mm-hmm. I can talk my dad into catering. The, there's there's always, e- every year that the, there's a introductory picnic or or a dinner that we all go to and it's you have to wear colored shirt i mean this is this is legion baseball there, there's there's rules applied um as far as your attire standing for the you know the, the uh, anthem mm-hmm. and uh the colors being presented so th- those rules apply and, and there's military guys there that that run the tournament so uh but but we get introduced to them um every year there's been a, a picnic on the night before coaches meeting rules uh meeting the young men get to play they get to eat and then there's they set up some type of recreation whether it be cornhole or something we're hoping we can work out something with the parks and rec on that day to maybe get into the pool and mm-hmm. have the picnic out there get my dad to cater it hopefully Tobin's so catering. you need about 45 to 50 and you have how much already banked so the legion will give about 10 grand 10 to 12 grand depending on the teams uh each year when a team signs up they pay x amount of money to be in the legion that gets you your insurance and, and and that type of thing but also a portion of that goes towards the tournament and that portion will be written to us in a check last year it was ten thousand seven hundred. i think a few teams added so that's going to be slightly slightly higher we've got a few small grants uh in with the cvb uh, a few guys on board as far as sponsorships so you know we're, we're getting closer to the 10 th- or twenty thousand dollar mark so we're we're about halfway there all right how are you going to get the rest well we we put in for a, a a little a larger grant with the cvb we're kind of waiting to hear back from that the rest we're you know we're looking for local support uh you know uh, when we go to those tournaments we notice that local banks and, and law offices and, and things like that are silver, gold, and bronze sponsors. We're looking to do some of the very same things with, a, you know, a, a, a marquee sponsor would be a $10,000 sponsor. A tournament will be named after them. So, you know, if, if uh, Sheets wanted to come up with $10,000, it, it would be the Sheets, you know, 2024 you know, American Legion Baseball State Championship. Mm-hmm. So they would get that. Uh, there's, you know, Mike Hornby and you guys have donated uh, a lot of, time as far as putting ads together for us that's that's going to be mike's donation to this tournament uh they're going to uh, wrnr will stream and, and play every game of the tournament uh, so people can from around the state you know so, so if, if you're a statewide uh you know a business say like uh jackson and kelly who have uh you know different areas that, that they venture into or or bowls and rice that'd be something they could be interested in because there's going to be teams from bridgeport area Morgantown area, you know, Charleston area, you know, up in the up in the Panhandle with with possibly with Frankfurt and uh, with the post the 64 team having an opportunity to come, you know, 
two teams are going to come out of our area, whether it be the, the Hedgesville, Berkeley Spring Knights, Post 14 will host, and then one of those two teams, the Post 64 Potomac Valley region or Post 60 will be in it as well. So. And Tripp, anyone uh, watching or viewing right now, how would they get in touch with you to donate? Well, they can certainly find me, find us on the American Legion Baseball Facebook page or myself, or I can certainly, uh, you know, my telephone number's out there. Uh, Good, I, my, give it out if you want my, to. My email is, uh, is jstobin3 at gmail.com, and then uh, my telephone number is 304-261-8435. Say it again. 261-8435. Anyone can call or contact me, uh, catch me on Facebook under Trip Tobin. That's two Ps. Uh, American Legion Baseball page is out there, Senior Baseball. Um, so we haven't had a lot of luck with some of the major companies that have moved in here recently. We've kind of, I'll say this, I guess I'll say it, but I mean like Clorox, Procter & Gamble, just been absolutely zero interest to give even anything. That's I mean, unfortunate. Yeah, Procter & Gamble last year when we asked about a team sponsorship, give me a basket full of hair products. It's important to look good though, Trip. Yeah, but I thought that was a little <laughs> kick. I thought that was a little bit of a, a kick in the butt. Especially so. considering you wear hats. So, Matt Harvey. Yeah, maybe just like a bunch of Axe body spray for the. <laughs> yeah, so you know, I'm not sure if anyone, anyone's out there knows uh, you know, the company they work for. You know, a large company. Uh, you know, if they're interested in a silver gold sponsor. I mean, we got we got a sponsor from ten, five, twenty five, and then of course we have team sponsors that are a thousand and below. We won't turn down anything, of course. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we'll need at the tournament. We'll need you know people that run the gate and chase foul balls and all the all the help we can get. And the, the American Legion Post has offered a lot of um, uh, labor, you know, as far as sweat equity to come in and help us in that aspect. So uh, it's just we're kind of short on money at the moment, and sure. we've, got, we've got time. So we got time. The, the so games begin July when. 24th. July 24th. So 24th is the picnic. Then when games, I think it's 25th through the 31st. Mr. Harvey. So if a bit, if you do find a corporate sponsor, what what besides the, the feeling of satisfaction of having donated and and helped these young men and coaches out, is there is there like banners and stuff yeah. that, that their signage will go up or? Yes. Yeah, so, so so if we can get it, like we we spent some time with uh with, with yesterday with trophies uh, and more and um and in some other places and certainly. The issue with that is, is that the um, the time frame they can't do it overnight. So someone would have to step up, you know, pretty quick to get signage, and we can certainly do that. Uh, there's going to be, you know, the scoreboard out there is a jumbotron. It'll be it'll be on the scoreboard between innings. Uh, we can play commercials on that scoreboard if they can get us that data. Uh, and we can also, you know, it's going it's going to be on the uh, the broadcast, you know, just like the regular, just like the high school teams, things like that. We're going to have a, a program. That they'll have a full page ad in if uh, that'll be distributed to every single uh, uh, team out there plus they'll be for sale with the gate so um i'm missing anything i don't think so <laughs> i don't know do you have a do you have a, a committee put together that's helping you with this well, my yeah you know my sister uh, sasha greenfield my brother-in-law ethan um actually coach uh you know, Coach Aaron Baller's been been a big help on that. Uh, you know, the facility at Martinsburg. Uh, you know, getting he, he's going to take care of you know making sure everything's ready there. But you know, we've we've uh, found some support there, and um, and Mike Hornby on that committee. You know, he's we've sat down yesterday, uh, spoke with had a meeting with him and Mayor Kevin Knowles, put our heads together about some areas that we we could venture into, so possibly get some sponsorship. So. Uh, and an informal committee. What about it, like discounted hotel rooms? Is that a possibility? Yeah. So the so the the, the motel rooms now, you know, in this area are anywhere from you know one thirty five to one fifty five and, and up. And uh, CVB was able to help us out and get in, into the one hundred and nine. So we did okay. get a thirty dollars. So they are. I mean, if you look at, I did the math. I mean, the motels are donating more than likely about three thousand dollars a day. Uh, right. You know, and discount. So CVB was able. We, my sister uh, Tasha, she called and got the blocks, and then we were able to reduce the block with uh, a little bit of a push from the CVB. Hey, I've got a, I've got a uh, pledge from one of our listeners, uh, viewers, Eric O'Roke, who said, uh, "Tell Trip to text me his address. I will give five hundred dollars, and he's got my number." All right, I so, got his number. So there's the, there's your first challenge out there: uh -oh. five hundred dollars from the Facebook community. Mm. That's very nice. All right, who's going to match that? Very good. Thank you, Eric. Right. Thanks a lot, Eric. Me and Eric went to school together, and he's uh, he's he's been a great guy. He's helped out with the you know in the in the community many times, and 
you know we appreciate him and, and many guys like it you know and and i love uh, believe me that, that that's where you know that the blue collar guys that that's what runs you know these youth sports and unfortunately we're not getting a tremendous amount from you know the the larger corporations but uh you know the polit i don't want to use the word politicians because i guess that's what we can say but the delegates and the area representatives and uh you know the they helped refurbish P.O. P. Faulkner Park, didn't they? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, between... Jason Barrett, Mike Hornby. Jason Hornby. Barrett, Mike Hornby, uh, Craig Blair, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, Don Forrest. Uh, uh, they Mike, made, they Mike made Pike. donations to make that place look like a great yeah, facility. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we go in with a, a package uh, with what we can do and it's what equity we can put into it and, and tell them, you know, show them what we want to do. And, and there's some lead of money there that's helped out. And that's what led up to this. I mean, that was that was in part of the read ahead was that if we can get this park going, you know, we can host these things and we can get these opportunities. And so we do have, and it's a great opportunity for, for us to give back to the community. And uh, I think sometimes you might question like, well, you know, you've, you've gotten this money and, and and you said, hey, you're going to do these tournaments and bring money in, but now now you're here saying, hey, I need I need you know I need some money to do this. Um, we're not really asking locally, you know, for the, for those guys that give. Or, well, those those guys gave so make this an opportunity to mm-hmm. do this. Um, when you put these tournaments on like this, you know, th- it's time for the I think the community to the businesses that will benefit from it and or have benefited from our community to, to give back at that point, and that's that's part of this tournament. Um, smaller tournaments like we're going to put on next weekend is going to bring five teams into the area for a weekend uh, that that was that's made possible by this so not only do we have the state tournament venue uh, in, in that opportunity but next weekend we're going to morgantown this weekend and then morgantown's reciprocating coming back to play and stay here next weekend along with uh, west uh, a, a, a team called west lawn out of pennsylvania they'll be coming to stay and then uh, they've been here a couple of times so um, it's not just this term. This just happened to be a big tournament where we are, you know, we have to kind of uh, come up with the money. But the other tournaments that we do is stay and play. I mean, pay to play. Mm-hmm. And they stay here. They play here. So um, You just got $500 from Panhandle Printing and Design. There you go. That's a 1000 bucks right there. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. And Mike's mom said, Doreen said, Mike, match that $500. <laughs> so Mike responded. He listens to his mom. He he's a good he boy. He should have did 501 So did the winner of this tournament mm-hmm. become the West Virginia champion? Is there then a national tournament that follows well, There's this? a regional. Mm-hmm. Last year when we were in Charleston um, and we won the state tournament, they immediately said, hey, we need your paperwork. We need your, uh, you know, we, we need everything that you have and a bus will pick you up at the field. You know, you just have to have your stuff there and the bus going to pick you up. And they, this team now is now national team, a regional team. And we went down and played in the regional tournament and it happened to be in Morgantown last year. They have a beautiful facility this year. It'll be on the Eastern shore of Maryland, but the winner, uh, wherever they come from, you know, they'll go back to their home, whether it be us or Charleston or, or Wheeling or anyone, uh, you know, immediately the the National American Legion Baseball picks up from there and you become kind of that property mm-hmm. and they put you on a, 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 a bus, chartered bus, and they put you in the rooms and uh, – they take care of you 100 percent from there so trip uh, i got a suggestion from william whittington who said uh set up an account at a local bank and we can publicize what the bank is and people can go in there to donate he said sure. people of his generation aren't big fans of the gofundme uh type of fundraisers or anything like that this gives them some security that they know that the money is going to a real place mm-hmm. and will get to you uh, right. which a lot of people are afraid of being defrauded right yeah we have a venmo and uh we, we have those types of things a little bit of issue with that is is you have to watch the buttons that you push or you pay fees so you have, yep. to, you have to push you know friends and not a uh, business but yeah we can get all that out um what's the venmo account uh, alb baseball and it's under oh boy you better be sure yeah. for you yeah get that yeah, out. yeah um hopefully some, uh, hopefully i can get that to you right, we'll, we'll hold off on that i don't want yeah. anyone sending money where it's not going no, to and i can get that to where you. do your players come from are they just berkeley county or are they jefferson mm-hmm. and morgan as well yeah, Jefferson. Um, you know, we we, we encompass uh, an area that um, that involves like Martinsburg, uh, Musselman, Jefferson, uh, Washington High School, and then any any area that touches us can you know you, you can get a release to play you know in our in our we have a Hedgesville uh, player that could play you know plays uh, could play for Post sixty could play for us. We have where's Post sixty. Post sixty is the run, the the Berkeley Springs team. Okay. So so they kind of wrap down and we kind of touch or overlap slightly there. So um, and 
and, and they have they have Spring Mills, um, Hedgesville. So right now, uh, American Legion Baseball in this area between the high schools is uh, is is ha- we have 18 junior kids, we have 18 senior kids, and then Post 60 has 18 kids. So we have 50 you know or 50 kids playing American Legion Baseball that wasn't even in existence five years ago. Tripper, just about out of time. If you could, in uh, 30 seconds or so, tell people your contact information so they can donate to help your cause. Uh, so my telephone number is 304-261-8435. Uh, my email is J, as in John, S as in Sam, last name Tobin, T-O-B-I-N, numeral three, at gmail.com. And, uh, of course, we have the American Legion Senior Baseball page. And then, uh, of course, you can find me on Facebook as well. Uh, I'll get the Venmo uh, information out on those pages and make sure I get it right. I, I could have guessed, but I might, might not be completely right. <laughs> so best, All the best to you with the tournament trip. Yeah. All right, thank you. July 24 is the first day with the picnic, and then the games flow.